to to all uh, the students that are connected with us. Uh, as you know, we are uh, connected from UCAM University in Spain, in the south of Spain. First of all, we want to, to thank all of you to attending the, this meeting. It's a pleasure for us to, to have this possibility to, to introduce uh, our university to you, especially because one day probably we will be our student here in, at the university. And so for, for me, but I think from the same is from the professors and from Wong that are with us, uh, it's a very emotional uh, thinking that uh, after this meeting, probably a, a big percentage of you will become uh, students here uh, in uh, our classes and probably one day we will be professional uh, uh, around the world, um, which we can say that we are being formed by UCAM University. So uh, the meeting, the, this meeting, as you know, will be focused on uh, tourism, uh, uh, tourism in particular as a subject uh, at UCAM. And after this particular situation that, you, that we face uh, till now, which is uh, COVID-19, as uh, all of you know, and uh, we have the um, uh, pleasure to have with us uh, uh, two professors, two fantastic professors that teach in our uh, uh, bachelor's and, mark and uh, um, uh, master in tourism. Since uh, UCAM offers a lot of uh, programs in, uh, in this field, we have a bachelor in tourism in English, we have bachelor in tourism in Spanish, we also have master in hospitality management, we have master in innovation tourism marketing and uh, many other programs. And uh, uh, we thanks uh, a lot to professors uh, Split and um, Bacero to be here uh, today uh, because they will uh, introduce uh, us uh, these uh, courses and also they will uh, um, speak about the, the future of tourism after COVID-19. And also I thanks a lot to my colleague Wong, which is uh, responsible for the enrollment uh, of the students coming from Southeast Asia in particular. UCAM is very international, so we have a lot of delegates uh, all around the world. And today uh, me uh, and uh, Wong we, we rep represent who come, uh, um, but uh, you know, we have a lot of uh, delegates uh, coming from all over the world in US, uh, South America, Africa, uh, Southeast Asia, uh, MENA, and many other countries. I don't want to, to steal time uh, anymore to, to you. I just uh, want to introduce the first professors, which is Azier Bacero. Uh, Azier uh, uh, is a um, our um, historic professor, he, he teach in our master uh, since a long time. And uh, he is, uh, of course, not only a professor uh, in UCAM, uh, he, as all our uh, professors, he's also professional in the real life. So this is one of the strong points of UCAM because uh, most of the professors that teach in our programs are also professionals in uh, the sector they teach uh, at UCAM. And this is a, an added value for our students because they can uh, enter in the a market job uh, very easily since they can uh, do internship during the master and also thanks to the knowledge that all the professors uh, transfer to, to them. So uh, Bacero, uh, Professor Bacero combined his activity as a hotel general manager at Barcelona Hotel Group with the role of lecturer at UCAM. He has a successful record in the general management of cities based on results hotels in Europe, Latin America, and the Caribbean also. Uh, his academic research focus on leadership and employee and customer satisfaction in the hospitality industry. So um, thank you very much, Azir, uh, to be with us. And uh, I just uh, give you the, the microphone. You can also uh, start your, your lecturer and present yourself for the for the webinar. Thank you very much to be here with us. Thank you. Thank you, Giovanni. Okay, so um, I'm going to be sharing um, a short presentation with some ideas about um, tourism and especially about, um, about um, hospitality, basically. Um, okay. I'm not sure if you can see the... We can the, see. We yes. confirm, yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Um, so, um, well, the, the, um, in the um, hospitality industry, um, nowadays, um, with, um, obviously with COVID and um, with all this uh, situation, um, we have um, 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 a new um, approach to, to yeah. the jobs and um, a new situation that um, we have to 
um, to, to follow. <laughs> um, so um, in that sense, um, uh, if we think um, historically about 10 years ago, um, there was, um, there was um, um, a different crisis, a more economical uh, crisis. And here, sorry, uh, here we can see um, uh, from, uh, from the um, uh, World um, Tourism Organization um, um, figures of uh, employment in Spain. Um, over, um, over two million uh, people working in, um, in, um, in the tourism uh, industries. Uh, and then, obviously, in the, during the, that uh, global crisis, um, the, the employment uh, decreased and um, it went just to, to two million. But quickly um, after that, recovered and um, and went up. But even during during the uh, crisis, there was um, there was many um, many jobs. Um, myself, I was working um, um, at, at the hospitality industry as a general manager, and um, many uh, many different options, um, not just uh, general managers. So it's, um, it's um, hospitality industry is a very flexible industry, and there's many possibilities within hotels and within the uh, tourism uh, sector in general. Um, in nowadays, how how is um, how how we do in, in in hotels? I wanted to to share with you. Um, um, the, the program uh, we're doing in, in Barcelona Hotel Group is called We Care About You. It's about hygiene and safe, safety protocols. And um, let me let me share a different um, a different um, slide uh, with with the video. Um, so so well uh, in, in that sense. Um, the the ideas that we work in now in um, in, um, in in hospitality um, some of them will will stay after after the crisis so uh, let me see if I can share with with you the the new just a uh, just a minute um, okay um, it's a very short video. Okay, there's no music, Azure, but we can see the... There's no music? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry. Uh, oh, no okay, so is, is the... Um, 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 well, uh, it, it, anyway, it was, it was a very, very, very short video. Um, and basically, um, what I wanted to, to show to you is that um, we've got... Um, um, the ideas of um, um, hygiene, um, safety, and, um, and professionalization of of, um, of uh, all the, the 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 jobs in in hotels. So nowadays, um, business is different. Um, in 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 um, I mean, this is not going to last forever. Um, it w the, there will be a, a vaccine and, and, and um, retroviral and, and um, this will end up. But um, during uh, these um, special times, we've, uh, we've had to, to, to manage with programs like, like this one, um, with programs of, um, of uh, safety, hygiene, and that um, had led us to, um, to more... Um, in, in, in a way to more uh, professionalism of, of our jobs um, and we need uh, more um, 
people that they're skilled and they're professional in um, in the hospitality industry. So then um, that leads, uh, in in my opinion, to 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 people studying um, uh, this course, this masters of uh, hospitality industry uh, at UCAM that is um, academic and at the at the same time is 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 very very much linked with uh, with them um, with the real world of um, hospitality industry and um, you can um, see approaches of um, what we need to do in in the industry and where are we heading with uh, with that so um uh, ideas like uh, digitalization um, uh, teleworking uh, that we 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 see now. Um, some of them they, they've come uh, to stay. Obviously, um, when we reopen all the hotels and when people um, start to travel again, uh, same as 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 uh, were, were, was doing before, um, things um, things will will be um, in a way back to normal. But in a way um, uh, different with uh, because of this uh, special situation. So um, these cases that we see very clear in um, um, se several positions in, in here in, in hotels um, about um, in administration, for instance, that um, we see we think now, okay, if during um, COVID um, uh, situation. Um, this um, this job has has been done um, uh, teleworking from from house. Why are we going to to go back? Maybe we can continue in that in that uh, in se in several positions um, with with this this kind of of job. Also, digit digitalization. I mean, uh, we try now um, in order to um, to. Uh, avoid um, uh, touching so much and, and all that. We um, we using more than our mobiles to open them uh, as a key card uh, for them for the doors, yeah, yeah. and and that's something that um, that probably we will stay. It's um, it's got a cost, but um, uh, it's something that we we think yeah, yeah. is 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 Very important to to assume it. Um, so it's several ideas on, on, on our industry and professionalization and also um, I want to give you um, um, an idea of, of optimism um, because at the end of the day we are um, 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 an industry of, um, of um, making people uh, happy um, and uh, we will um, be back um, uh, bigger and, and we will be back, um, I mean it's something that um, everybody wants to wants to travel everybody uh, deserves to to enjoy their their spare time and um, to enjoy uh, holidays so we are um, a moving forward industry that um, we we very flexible we adapt to to different situations and um, we show that um, if we we uh, we get people that they're professional and um, they're flexible and they know what they're doing um, uh, we can um, improve and we can move forward. So in that sense, um, I encourage you to, to study at uh, UCAM University because um, in, that, in that way you can, get, you can achieve um, 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 a very um, academic and very um, um, well-organized uh, studies where I see in um, um, masters of hospitality management and um, different different uh, masters innovation um, or the bachelors um, and also the link with uh, with uh, with the industry that I think is very important and in the case of uh, Javier and myself uh, we we both work in the industry and also um, uh, teach at uh, UCAM University so I think my 10 minutes then they're gone um, Thank you. Thank you very Thank much, you very, much. very interesting, very interesting. Uh, I want to ask, uh, let's see if there is some question for you. We just uh, uh, wait uh, uh, some minutes if someone wants to ask something in particular related to the, to the speech of Azier. Otherwise, uh, uh, I will... Uh, okay, so for now, we don't have any, any question. I just let me introduce you the second 
fantastic professor of UCAM <laughs> that uh, joined us today in this master is uh, Professor Javier Plit uh, Stevens. Uh, Javier is also our um, uh, traditional professor here at UCAM. He's uh, teaching in our master since a long time. He's uh, actually an electronic engineer. He did uh, MBA in finance and uh, a PhD in economics and uh, business science focus on hospitality finances and operation research. Uh, Javier also is one of our, um, um, let's say, key professor here at UCAM. He's very expert. And uh, as uh, Azier, uh, we welcome him today in our webinars. And uh, it's a pleasure, Javier, to, to have you in uh, this presentation. And uh, so you can uh, start uh, introducing yourself and telling us uh, something about the future of tourism after COVID-19. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Giovanni. So okay. good evening or uh, good morning. Depends where you are. <laughs> exactly. Hello, everyone. Uh, well, as uh, yeah, Giovanni said, my name is Javier Pete Stevens. I, I'm the professor in, in both Master in Hospitality Management Master and in Master in Innovation in Marketing. Well, uh, first of all, I would like to say thank you for inviting me to this master class and to talk about the future of tourism after the COVID-19. So to start with, I will try to explain you or try to give you one, one, of, one of the book, which is the, the picture in the middle of the crisis of this uh, COVID-19. So let me try to, um, to share my, my desktop with you. screen. There you are. I think you can you can see my presentation now. Yes, yes, we can okay. film it. All right. So as I said, well, this is going to be the, the future of the tourism in uh, after COVID-19. But uh, in the middle of the crisis of COVID-19, the this is the picture. So I don't think you have some, some questions about, uh, with this picture because I, I think it's, it's clear enough. But uh, yeah, this was the situation during April, May and, and the beginning of June in Spain. So everything was closed. The beaches are closed, nobody out there. And, but to here, so let me go back one year later, one year ago. So one year ago, the situation was a little bit different. So this is the situation of Spain, of tourism in Spain, one year ago, so in, in 2019. So France was the first, uh, the first country that received international tourists, uh, tourists and in Spain received 82 million international right. tourists. So it was, uh, it was amazing and um, the, the trend was Spain's uh, trying to achieve the first place. But from this point in 2018 to this point in 2020, it was that crisis. So we can see, so we started with this amount of international tourism month by month, and then April zero, May zero, June almost zero and we started to recover a little bit in, in, during July, okay? But uh, if we analyze this, we have to do, we, we try to get some opportunity to compare the, the different tourism models that we have here, at least here in Spain. And we can try to go forward to the new model, especially after this crisis. So we can compare two models. Actually, we, we are using this model so far, or we use this model. So the tourism based on growth. And now we started to think, well, we started to think uh, many years ago, but now we have the, um, the opportunity to rethink about the tourism based on sustainability. So let me compare to uh, a simple comparison between two models, these two models. So then in the, in the old one, we, we, we have the, the increasing of the number of tourists in general, every, every year uh, after every year. But on the other hand, in the sustainability model, 
we have to increase the in productivity, uh, productivity or labor productivity in general, productivity in all senses, but mainly in labor productivity. And the growth of foreign tourist spending is one of the keys for the growth model. But the growth of tourist experience is the key for the new model. And in general, overall, so the growth model is based more on, on more demand every year. So it's quite simple. But the, the sustainability model now is based on innovation. But the thing is, when we talk about innovation, which is the key of the tourism sustainability, uh, we, we have three pillars, or three different, yeah, three different pillars, we can say. So one of them, and, and the weight of that is almost 40%, according with our research, is the people education. So it's, in general, the people education. <clears throat> and uh, the other one is the tourism training, which uh, we're, we're involved with, with us here, with the old UCAM University. And the third one, oh, almost with a 30% is technology itself. But the thing is, when we talk about innovation, we started to think about uh, different things that we sometimes we don't understand too much. Well, let me talk about innovation because well, my, I'm a professor in the Master of Innovation and Tourism Master in Marketing. So we started to talk, or we started to think, or we, we heard about big data, machine learning, blockchain in general, private log blockchain, in the case of the uh, private companies, um, the data analytics, uh, deep learning or neural networks. And again, we, we, we think about technology, technology, and technology. But uh, let, me, let me tell you one thing about technology. So innovation is not about technology. Uh, or at least innovation is not only about technology. We use innovation just to solve, to solve problems, simple or complex problem based on that technology. And to understand that, let me give you one, one small example that happened in my company. Well, I'm working in a big resort, one of the biggest resorts in Europe. So we have some well, different, uh, different problems that we can solve using this innovation and not only technology, but apply this technology to solve the normal problems. So, the, the, well, the, the problem was very simple. So it's uh, a predictive problem. So in, in, in my resort, we have more than 15 uh, restaurants or bar. We open all of them at the same time during the high season, during the summer season. Well, not this year, unfortunately, but normally we, we have all of them open at the same time for lunch and for dinner. And then we have a combination of that. And the problem that we have, it's like this. So the first is the identification of the problem. And the main identification is we want to predict the number of covers for the restaurant next week. So it's very easy. So we want to predict exactly or more exactly as possible the number of covers, the number of people who are going to stay in the, in the restaurant for next week. But we can go a little bit further to improve this and we can predict the number of the covers of the 15 restaurants at the same time located inside the big resort. Well, we, we have a, a, a really big resort, it's, it's quite big. So if we are um, going a little bit further, mm -hmm. so we have more innovation. We can predict this occupancy by hour by hour. So we can, you can imagine, so one week, one week ago, we can predict how many people are we gonna have at six o'clock in every single restaurant, seven o'clock in every single restaurant and so on. So with all this information, if we can do, if we can get uh, this prediction um, with a good accuracy, 
We can plan the number of waiters, the number of chefs, we can predict the forecast for the next week with a probability of 90%, 95%. So you can, you have to understand that uh, the, the model that we use at the moment is based on the experience of the managers, which is not bad at all, but it's, uh, sorry. But we can improve that because the, the, the prediction of one of the, the best managers in the world, it's around 70%. So on the worst, the worst one, maybe it's 40%. So there is no quite difference between the, the best ever manager, restaurant manager or food and beverage manager in the world and the worst one. But with this kind of models, we can predict with a probability of 90%. So the question is, when, you, when we know which is the problem, uh, can we solve this operational problem using, for example, neural networks or learning machine or different models talking about technology? Can we predict this with a rate of accuracy of 95%? So we are really sure that this is going to be the number of covers for the next week. And what is the rate of an expert restaurant, restaurant manager? Yeah, the rate is yeah, it's around 60 70%, something like that. So it's not similar, but uh, there is not comparable with the, with the machine, with the, with the machine model. We can improve a lot if we use this kind of model, if we can improve a lot, if we use this kind of innovation. And for what? Can we imagine how much resources can we save if we use these kind of models? So talking about sustainability, can you imagine how many human resources we can save? So we can allocate the exactly the exactly number of waiters for the exact number of people. So can we imagine which is going to be the result as a customer experience, a guest experience uh, of, of these guests, of these uh, of, uh, of these people who stay in the restaurant? So it's it's amazing. The difference is quite big. And we have to understand that we can use this innovation for one upper goal, which is the sustainability, and try to change this growth model that we had until COVID, until this crisis, to the new model, which is the sustainability model of tourism. Uh, I think this is uh, all that I want to share with you. And I only have to say thank you, and if you have any any kind of question about innovation or about the, the master in, in tourism in, in innovation tourism marketing, please let me know. And thank you very much, us. Javier. Thank you very much. Very interesting. You provide us a lot of food for thought, so uh, many cases of reflection. So it's uh, it, it, uh, it, it's amazing that we can. Uh, um, we have the possibility to, I mean, to, to listen to your masterclass because uh, as a lot of students are interested in our tourism program and for sure we, they will uh, ask you many, many, many things. Uh, waiting for their question, I want to ask uh, you something, if is it possible also, before to let uh, Wong uh, managing the, the question of coming from the students, uh, to, uh, Azier, uh, to Azier and to have a Javier, I want to ask you something in particular. After COVID-19, uh, what about uh, the face of our master's program? Are they going to change a lot? I mean, in the model, in the structure, in the way to teach. So can you tell, just, uh, tell us uh, what, are going, what is going to change? Uh, because, I mean, uh, probably the master that we are going to offer and that will start in November will, will be not the same uh, uh, of, the, of the one that we... Um, uh, it, it, it provide last, last year to our students. So if you can start uh, Azer and then uh, Javier, just uh, telling us uh, the new face of the master that we are going to offer to our students. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, certainly. Obviously, um, um, because um, the link of, um, of our master to, to, the, to the real world, to, to, to hospitality and due that um, many of, them, of the, the teachers 
the, the active in uh, actively working at, 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 um, at, at the industry. Um, and most of the examples and, and most of the ideas will be focused on, on, the, on this exceptional um, situation of, of COVID on, and how are we going to, to move forward. Um, so obviously, obviously the, the, the information and the, the, the ideas that we, we will be passing on to, on to the students will be different and will be focused on, on this new situation and how um, can they um, be more successful on, on, on this new reality. So um, for, for sure is, is not uh, going to, is the, the masters is, is not um, a static um, um, uh, program, um, is, is, is lively developed and um, um, will help um, uh, students to, to, to get into this uh, new, um, new reality and new situation. So, okay. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Azer. And also, same question for Javier. <laughs> uh, yeah, as Azer said, so we, we're going to focus a little bit more about this, this new situation, this new reality, because it's, uh, we're going to have to, to share with this uh, COVID, with this virus for, for, for some time. We don't know exactly how, how much time, but uh, we're going to be prepared. We're, we're going to have to be prepared for this. And even we're going, to, we're going to have to be prepared for any kind of virus, of any kind of uh, situation like this, crisis like this. And um, talking about, this is talking about the content, but uh, talking about if the classes are going to be different, uh, uh, we don't think it's going to be different because normally we have a reduced number of students in, in the classroom, just uh, around 15 or 20. So it's, it's good enough and, and the classrooms are quite big enough for that much, that number of, uh, of students. So we have classroom over 50 people, 60 people, so 20 people just around uh, these kind of classes and no problem at all. And for sure the, the exams or the assignments that we, we, we have to, to the students are going to be exactly the same. And uh, the, the only thing is going to be, we're gonna change a little bit the focus of the program, just focus a little bit more in, in this part of, of the program. And the, from the point of view of the innovation, of course, this is, is a great news for us because everybody can uh, apply these new innovations uh, in, in the tourism industry. So for, for us, it's a, good, it's a good news, actually. Okay, 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 very, very clear. Thank you, thank you very much, Javier. Um, so let's say that, uh, I mean, something is going to change, but the st uh, structure will, will uh, remain the same. <laughs> uh, also, finally, I want to, to give the floor to, to Wong. <laughs> uh, Wong, welcome uh, to, 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 the, to this webinar. I uh, just um, want you to, to introduce yourself also to, to if you want to send, some, send something about UCAM and also if you want to ask something in particular to, to our professors since they are here we have to um, I mean to, to ask uh, many things probably at the end of the master class we will also want to, to join the, the masters <laughs> Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Giovanni, and also thank you to professors like Azia and Javier for like uh, your lecture today. Uh, actually, in my um, region, in my area, I'm uh, doing the Southeast Asia, and um, as you know, the Southeast Asia having like tourism, hospitality industry is very developed in the, in here. And after the COVID nineteen, we are like affected a lot. Uh, because of the COVID-19, we haven't received any tourists um, and uh, international tourists anymore. So, uh, which kind of country? Each country will losing like million USD for a year uh, of the uh, because of the COVID-19. So, I, I guess that 
after this pandemic, I'm feeling positive. Uh, some kind of uh, students will register for uh, hospitality management uh, online course uh, because some of them like is a startup, their uh, their business, but but their business have a problem, so they need to have like some knowledge and need to improve their you know, skills, so they go joining this course. I'm feeling very positive, and. Um, and for me, uh, I have some questions for professors. Uh, I, I would like to know about the internship program for online course. Uh, is that like uh, will be different uh, with the, I, I know that it will be different uh, with the on campus program. Uh, but can you tell, tell the students uh, for the internship program, uh, how students uh, can do the internship program? You want to start? Okay, uh, I, I will yeah. start with because normally I'm in charge of the the internship in okay, 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 in both okay. programs. So perfect. It's, it's, it, maybe it's going to be easy for me to respond. Uh, which are, so your, your question is which are the, the the main difference between the internship in the in yeah. campus and online courses? If I understood yes. good, All yes, right. yeah. perfect. Uh, actually, there is no quite. Uh, big difference the only big difference in general is like the, the people who prefer to go online so they prefer to stay in their own place so they can apply for an internship in a place in their surroundings in the same city same country or same area in the case of uh, the people who stay in, in campus they prefer to stay mainly in, in, in Spain to improve the Spanish, for example, or in, in Europe. We can, we can get internship all around the world because we have some many contacts of the main chains, uh, hotel chains or a restaurant or a luxury restaurant. For example, well, uh, Sierra is one of the biggest general managers in Barcelona. So. You have a big, big contact in there. <laughs> okay. and, uh, in my case, I'm just working for, for, for a small chain oh. called Speria, which is a Spanish one. Don't be so humble. Don't be so humble. <laughs> <laughs> we, um, but uh, for that reason, we don't have a problem just to uh, have an agreement between the company in, in, in Asia, in South Asia, Vietnam, Philippines, uh, from Malaysia, Singapore, whatever. And um, we, we can get this agreement with the university without any problems. We, we did it a lot. So many times, and many times in the, in the years before. Okay, okay. I, I don't know how it's yeah. clear um, or not. Of course, uh, internship is uh, a part of the uh, both programs, uh, Master in Hospitality and Master in Innovation Tourism right mm -hmm. okay okay yeah yeah it says compulsory in in the master in hospitality okay with, uh, 500 hours which is three three and a half months it's compulsory and it's not compulsory in the in innovation, innovation. okay thank you very much and Wong, do you want to ask other things or well, I, I have one question from Antonio about that. Uh, yes. Do we have uh, e-certificate after the webinar? But I, I, don't, I don't understand for the e-certificate. So Antonio, can you uh, uh, tell me that, uh, what, yeah, what, what do you asking, mean? Uh, Antonio, actually we didn't think about preparing e-certificate for our students, okay, for even if you are joining the master class, but uh, I mean, just to write an email to, to me and probably I can ask to our department to prepare something in particular for you, okay? If he, I, I will ask. We, we don't know exactly if it, there will be this possibility. Okay, uh, I, I, I can provide you my email address. Uh, um, Antonio is, uh, I can type for you, <laughs> okay. 
All right. We will we will prepare so, something personalized for you. That's also good at UCAM. You know, our master also are personalized. The professor said one can confirm it. I mean, we will follow the same path of your colleagues during the master. But of course, you will be able to personalize the master as you prefer. Since you are going to do an internship in the company you prefer, you like, and also since you are going to write a final master project about something that you like to research. So this is. Okay, the, the possibility that you can give you. Thank you, Wang. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, too. Uh, so does anyone have any questions? Uh, we would like to answer all of you. Okay. Right. Uh, uh, if you don't have any questions, I mean, think that mean, I have I mean, You have one, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wong. <laughs> Yes, I, I think I still have uh, some of the questions for like online course uh, because uh, of the Javier uh, lecture. I see that we are have kind of the um, com uh, doing the computer like so something. Can, can, can you explain it uh, more details? Uh, because I'm really curious uh, if students are joining for online course and they go um, study like I, I think that, that is a kind of innovation for tourism uh, management, uh, hospitality management. Sorry, Javier. Yes, sorry. No, no, it's open. Uh, can you can you repeat me, Hong, again? Just Yes. Uh, well, I uh, I have seen that uh, in your lecture you are mentioned about the uh, about the computer about the uh, technology for this uh, this kind of course because uh, as I know that hospitality major majors they just uh, they will study some of the skills and where they are working for the hotel and or the restaurant uh, but I I haven't um, know about the technology in this major. Okay, can you? Uh, uh, explain more details for students about the technology. Uh, yes, about the, the technology, about what kind of technology, what kind of innovation we, we can provide in, in our master, the master of innovation. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. The, um, well, we have different models in, in, in the innovation program, in the master innovation program. So we have one model just focused main on marketing, I think, which is the, the, the main model. So in all phases of the marketing, inbound marketing, out, uh, outbound marketing, and all, all this kind of um, marketing ball, but soft focus on the tourism, okay? From, you can, you, we can start with the, not to develop the web pages, uh, how to analyze the results of the campaigns, how to analyze the result of different uh, marketing actions, just focus on, on, on this uh, tourism industry. And on the other side, we have another model, which is more just focus on technology. So we can analyze in, in this model, uh, one of the parties is a blockchain, how the blockchain is, how, how it works, and how is the new possibilities of this new technology? Well, it's not quite new, but it's uh, it's new for the for the hospitality or for the tourism industry. And at the same time, how to uh, can use this uh, machine learning technology and apply this technology to the tourism as well? We are not going to the computers and, and program and use the the, the specific software as to develop some applications, but as a manager in innovation, as a manager in the marketing area of the tourism, we had to understand which are the, the variables, which are the, the, the main things who um, impact on the other thing. And, and this main concept is like that we have to translate to the students in, in order that they know which are the concept, and this this uh, this student who is going to be a potential manager can explain to the technological people, because the, normally the technological people don't understand the tourism industry, but they understand their own things technology. But one of the people, and mainly the people who ends this master, 
can understand both worlds. So the technology world and the business world. Normally, uh, she or he can act like uh, um, the data analyst, which is one of the positions, one of the potential positions after this master in, in the tourism area. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Oh, um, I have one more question from um, uh, Ali Reza. What is the duration of innovation of tourism program? Is it included in the one year of study or would, like, would take place after one year of study? I mean, duration of internship, not just program. Uh, yes, uh, well, the um, internship program and also your studying academic year it will be including for one year, which means that uh, you will uh, having like one year to study innovation and tourism, including three months of internship. Just all the innovation and tourism management, you will have three months of internship. Uh, for master degree uh, in hospitality management, you will have five months of internship program. Exactly. Right. Okay, everything in one year, uh, Arileza, everything yes. will we finish in one year and you will get your certificate after the finish of the, the end of the master. Um, I have one question, Wong, if I can ask. Um, as a professional to Javier, Azer, do you have some suggestion to our um, the, to the student that want to join our master? Um, I mean, some suggestions uh, related to, to the to the job to their future job. I mean, uh, why they have to choose our master? Three, I don't know, some key points, some reasons why you, they should choose our master. Can, can you tell us something about it, in order to to understand? The, um, yeah. Uh, well, uh, for my opinion, uh, like for my opinion, I would like to take an online course because I, I don't want to, uh, uh, to, to like um, uh, losing my job. I still, I still can working and I still can learning uh, by the online. I, I don't need to move into another country just only for studying. Uh, but also, I will have a, a degree that recognized uh, in UCAM because UCAM University are recognized in Europe and also in another countries also. Uh, yeah. And also not only recognize a degree and also I go getting some of the knowledge because as you know that because, uh, uh, after this pandemic, uh, COVID-19, we will see that knowledge is very important. How to manage uh, our restaurant, how to manage our like hotel or resort. Uh, we will uh, we will knowing how to adapt of the situation. As uh, the professor say that uh, for like from the six uh, six p.m. we need how uh, how many staff we need to like uh, to do for um, uh, to to like waitress or like chef to. Uh, uh, resolve our clients. So I think that it is very important to save money, save cost, but also we can uh, still doing our good service to our clients also. So I think that uh, not only for degree, uh, not uh, you, you, you are not only having a, a recognition degree, but also you will uh, gain the knowledge how to uh, uh, start up your business or how to manage uh, your hotel or restaurant. It is very important for nowadays. And also, the good news that uh, you don't uh, need to like quit a job. You still have salary and you still can learn. Right, right. You can combine the two things. And as a professional, Azer and Javier, can you also t thank you very much, Wong. Thank you very much. Can you also give some advices to our future students based on your experience? Yes, of course. Yeah, um, well, um, um, as, as I was saying before, um, 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 hospitality industry now needs more, um, needs uh, workers to be more uh, professional, more specialized on, on our sector. And um, in order to, 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 to have them uh, the confidence on, on uh, on doing something and, and, and deliver um, uh, good results, um, you need to you need to have a, a background and you need to uh, to prove that you you've you've got the the the, the skills and you've got the the academic uh, background in order to move forward and um, and get um, a promotion and and get. Um, um, 
better better positions and um, and improve yourself so i think it's um same as uh, one was saying um from from this side from um, from from um, from the industry um, uh, hospitality industry um we see um as a very good option that um uh, any of our employees uh, decide to 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 take um, um, studies online in um, in a well recognized uh, university. Uh, so then they they they're going to be more uh, productive and they're going to be more professional for us. Uh, so it'll be easier. Uh, like in my my situation, um, being a hotel general manager. Well, if I have to decide on on um, on a promotion or for for a new um, food and beverage manager or revenue manager, obviously, um, if we have to decide between one person that um, has uh, followed um, um, uh, studies in 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 in, um, in in a university as you come um, online, in this case, um, with comparing to other person that. It's got the, the experience, but no uh, real uh, academical background. For sure, we're going to decide on, on the person with the studies. So I think it's, 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 it's a very good option and gives the opportunity, as one was saying, of uh, working and, um, and mixing these, these, these two sides that are very important, the, the academical part and also the, the, the experience on, on site. Yeah. Thank, thank you very much, Professor. <laughs> and also from Javier, some advices in, from, from our students, a suggestion. Uh, yes, well, I'm, I'm really agree with, uh, with us here. So uh, I'm now in charge of the HR in, in my company. So especially when we are just uh, trying to promote somebody in the, from the middle positions to the highest position. So we, we really need this background. We, this experience is not more enough. So experience were enough so, um, uh, some, some years ago, but now it's not, it's not enough because we are in, 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 the, in the world who is changing and who, uh, we want to, we have to interpret different things, different KPIs, uh, different figures, different data. So we need this academic background. So I completely agree with with uh, with us here in, in, in this field, especially from the point of view of uh, HR, of human resources. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Wong, do you have uh, other questions in the list uh, waiting? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen any questions, but uh, do anyone have any questions, please uh, raise uh, in here or Yes, Meanwhile, I, I, I have another one if you if you want. I I, I like to many to do to ask many many things. <laughs> uh, yes. My question is about um, successful uh, stories of uh, students that already did a master. Can you tell us about I don't know one particular case that you remember that you I mean uh, yes. that, that you uh, experienced during the these uh, years of the master. I mean, like uh, I don't know. Do you know some particular student that after the master found an incredible job? Can you tell about uh, one story of success? Yes, if you have some in particular. For... Uh, yes, uh, we, uh, from uh, in my country, in Vietnam, I have, uh, we already had one student that uh, um, graduate for hospitality major in UCAM. And uh, after graduate, she uh, working for Korea Airlines, Korea Airlines in Dubai. Okay. Uh, as um, yeah, she she go working in, in that airline. So so I feel that that's kind of the successful students that are uh, uh, moving out from her country, moving out from uh, from her family, uh, to working for like a better life and have a better salary. So I think that that is kind of a successful um, example. And actually, I have uh, one more example. He hasn't studied yet. He will study in this year. Uh, actually, his background is really good. He's a very excellent student, come from my country. Uh, and uh, he already like working for um, a big company that is kind of a government company in my, in my uh, country. Because uh, everybody wants to work in there. They need to like having three exams 
uh, to passing uh, and working in, in that uh, in that company. But after after the, um, uh, like work. Uh, working like a few years, uh, he decided to move to hospitality management because he's seeing that he needs to change his mind. He wants to change in his uh, career, and he's seeing that hospitality industry is a kind of like um, interesting industry, and also um, he can uh, earning uh, like he he will develop his career in his future career like. He will having a, might be a beautiful career in the future, uh, but I think, in my opinion, that is hospi hospitality industry is very developed um, major to study and also to working in uh, Southeast Asia. Thank you very oh, much. Right, I have one more uh, question. One more from, question. Uh, yeah. Yes. How likely it is for international students to find a job in tourism industry after graduation in marketing and innovation in tourism? Uh, thank you for your questions. Uh, as uh, if you are listening uh, to the lecture from uh, uh, Javier, from uh, Professor Javier, you will see that Spain is the second country that having uh, uh, that uh, tourism industry is very developed uh, for the whole world. As just only after France. Uh, so if you are studying in UCAM and in campus, just only example, if you want to study in campus in Spain, you, you will have more opportunities to find a job for the tourism industry. Uh, it will be, I, I, in my, uh, I think that uh, for the percentage to find to looking for a job in Spain uh, for this major is higher than another majors in Spain. So if you want to study in campus, don't worry. But if you find another job in your country, I think that there is no problem because you are having a knowledge, you have a academic background. It uh, it will be um, fine for you. Like if even uh, you want to start up your business in your country, it, I, I think that it could be great. Like. Right, Giovanni, do you think that, yeah, like me? Of course, one of the added value to studying on campus, I think, is uh, as a, an a, a advisor for the Italian student, is that they also have the possibility, for example, to apply for our language program and study Spanish uh, at the same time in our language school. So at the end of the master, they, of course, are studying English, but uh, at the end of the master, they also uh, know Spanish. And this is also another skill that uh, can help them to, to find a job uh, even in the, in the Spanish marketing uh, because of course so in one year they are getting a lot of experiences a lot of knowledge even in in a language sense and this is a uh, but of course who study online uh, also have the possibility to combine as you said the the job and the and the studies uh, together so this is also uh, in, in important because uh, a lot of our students already uh, have a job and they cannot uh, stop or leave their job just to, to, to study here at UCAM. So they, this is a good opportunity also to, to combine the two, the two things. Um, I also want to ask a successful story to the professors. I'm very curious if they follow up some students after they finishing their they studies here at UCAM. If you have one particular case, I don't know, since our classes are very international, also one of the points is that our classes are very small in terms of number of students. Do you have some particular case that you like to, to tell us? Like, I don't know, Azer, Javier? Sure. <laughs> um, well, as, as you say, we have an international class. So we have people from all around the world. So mm -hmm. no, no difference at, at all. So from Africa, America, Asia, of course, and, and, and Europe as well. So I don't I don't have any any particular story because okay. I have a, a lot of people, a lot of <laughs> students just right. working working in my company at the moment. Okay. So uh, if I had to tell you one story, I don't know which ones. But we have, uh, for example, we have one the, the, the social media manager. She is from, from Morocco. She were in uh, last year, just finished the, the master in innovation tourism and marketing. Uh, okay. We had another Italian lady who works until um, now with, with us in a reservation department for the same master. And in general, the, um, the job possibility after the master is uh, about 70 or 80%. 
and okay. not only and not only in in their countries, even in in the European countries, because we we try to well to to give them some advice how to apply for the next visas and this paperwork, which is a you know it's a little bit complicated here in in Europe. I will try to give you some some advices about it. And uh, even the people from abroad, I mean, they are not European people, can get the possibility to get a jobs in, in, in the European countries as well. So this okay. is a very good experience for them. Thank you very much, Javier. What about Azer? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I was trying to check on the list now um, of okay. the students of this year. Um, this, uh, well, uh, from Italy, Vietnam, um, Poland, Jordan, uh, Mozambique, India, wow. uh, several places, and then uh, just n n not just one example, but what I wanted to, to say on um, regarding that is that um, it's very important uh, for for students in 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 tourism and hospitality industry also to to link um, and use LinkedIn or uh, different different. Um, different social network um, and um, in, in my case I'm, I, I'm in contact with, with, with many of these students and, uh, and it's something that um, also in, at UCAM um, you, students can develop uh, so then they, they link with myself, with Javier, um, also with Marcel Damen that is, um, is a general manager from uh, Ritz Carlton in Chengdu um, so I, I think it's, it's very important to in China. Sorry, uh, Ritz Carlton Chengdu in China. Um, I think it's very important to to have these um, these connections and um, for students to 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 link with uh, with um, with us, with uh, teachers and. Um, and um, professionals in in the sector and and follow this this uh, relationship in in the future and um, uh, so then uh, we can think of many many different um, good examples of uh, promotion and and uh, good experiences but the the idea of of linking and um, and and checking on on that is i think is important especially in our sector in, in tourism sector thank you very much Azel. thank you Thank you. And I don't know if uh, Wong has, do you have other questions? Otherwise we can also, I think, uh, finish. Well, yeah, I, I have enough questions. It is very clear for me. And I think that I will introduce my students as the information I have after this webinar. Right. Uh, I don't know if I have anyone have another questions. Yeah. Um, Meanwhile, I suggest to, to provide the contact of the professor of uh, Hazer and uh, Javier if they, are, if they agree. If the students also want to contact you, they, they can. This is also one of the good things at UCAM, I mean, because the relation between the professors and students uh, is very close. I mean, he, he, they are, of course, academic professors, but also sometimes they became friends of, of the students. This is what I like at UCAM because even if they are, um, I mean, important professors, in, 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 but they always are humble and help students to, to get the, the, the best results for, for them. And I, I really like it. They are at their disposal every time and it's very, very... Uh, good it because um, students can count on the professors uh, for everything for everything so if, if you want to contact uh, Azeri, Javier I mean uh, feel free to to do it and uh, I don't know if we don't have any question uh, we can also um, just close the the webinar since we are already um, spent one hour and we are stealing the time of the the professors and of Wong the, uh, so just to, to, to close, if you want, uh, can you tell us three reasons why to, to choose UCAM and to, UCAM and also why to choose your master in particular, the one in which you teach? If you if is it possible to answer to this question, just three reasons and then we can thank you and and close the webinar. Who want to start? <laughs> Okay, so well, um, in in the case of um, hospitality management, um, um, well, I would say um, is um, in the first uh, situation is academic, is an academical, um, um, is a 
university course, well recognized, um, is uh, official here in Europe, in, in Spain. Um, I know and, and I've worked at other different uh, places um, here in Spain and internationally that um, in, in, in that in, in a, the more uh, sort of professional uh, not with uh, uh, masters not with um, with the, the support of a university um, so in this case uh, this master is uh, is um, is supported by, by a recognized university in Spain in Europe and um, it can um, allow you to to further your studies into a PhD or um, in, in a sense is, is um, in my opinion is um, is the value is higher because because of the support of, of a university um, and then the second thing is that um, even though that is is um, is um, university studies um, it's very focused on 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 the professional and, and on the industry sector so it's not like other um, 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 masters that they the very um, static, they very um, they not into into the the, the real world. They the too much academic. So then this this um, master has got um, both the the, the good um, side of um, of the uh, academic and the professional um, side of of that, and then. Um, Thirdly, I would say um, um, the links, the, the the links you can you can get with uh, whether if you you come to to Spain to 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 Murcia, that is is a great place to 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 be, or if you um, study online, um, you're going to 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 have a, a very good um, um, ambience and and. Um, Everybody is, is is going to to try to to help you and um, try to 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 um, give you the best of uh, of of every everyone. I mean, uh, teachers, um, administration, everything. So then um, that would be the the three main ideas that I would um, that I would point out of the, the masters in in hospitality in, in industry in hospitality management. Thank you very much, Jose. Good ones. Thank you. <laughs> uh, want to have it or also three reasons? Okay. Thank you very yes. much. Well, I don't know if I have three reasons, but I have a very good reason. <laughs> okay. So if you really want to improve your, your, your professional skill and to get a better job, so you can come to UCAM in campus online, and for sure, you're going to improve your career, a professional career. This is going to be for sure. Why? Because the, the, one of the main reasons is the, the, the internship reason. So in, in one of the masters, so in, in the hospitality master, at least we have to uh, complete five, five months in, in, in internship. It is the same if you are joining in campus or online. So it's going to be exactly the same. So, or in uh, in innovation in innovation master, you can uh, apply for three month or four month in in uh, internship or seminars. Uh, the the other reason is because we, we, you have all the connections around the world that you really want because we are here. But we are just uh, managing different hotels, different companies in innovation and tourism market that are around the world. So we are not all of us. We are just working in, in Murcia. Actually, Asier is not here. So it's in Banner Island. So <laughs> uh, this is the, the, the second main reason. And, and, and the third one, just talking online, it's we are not going online because of the COVID-19. We were online since 10 or more years ago. So we, we have a lot of experience in online uh, education. We know exactly that the, the, um, the thinking of the people who is trying to get some online uh, titles, uh, online degree, is not the same that the people who are going to Murcia just to go in on campus. So we have all that knowledge and we, we can provide 
all this knowledge just to improve your career in hospitality or in general in the tourism industry. Thank you very much, Javier. You both motivated me. <laughs> and also, we move forward to Wong. Also, if you have three reasons, and then we can... Yeah, well, uh, after like uh, this uh, webinar, I'm feel, uh, feeling very motivated uh, because of the lecture from two professors. And also, I'm feeling very confident uh, to recruit students, more students to join this course, not only online, but also on campus. Uh, well, three reasons why you're choosing UCAM is because uh, I've been in UCAM for two years. I think that uh, UCAM has um, a recognition university in the, not uh, in Spain, but also in Europe. And um, students getting help from us and supported from professor a lot. So uh, yes, uh, as come on me, come from, from professor, I feel uh, more confidence because as my uh, students say that they are getting more supportive from professor even they if they have any troubles uh, they're asking professor they can like one to one um, studying with uh, just only one professor uh, and the last reason is also having a good academic background uh, and uh, that is uh, having a better future career that is will, will be influenced uh, with uh, students future career so I think that uh, that is my last reason to, uh, to to talking with students. And uh, what about you, Giovanni? Oh. <laughs> I see that you're asking us a lot of questions. Yeah, I, I like to ask. It's difficult for me to answer. Since I'm working at yes. UCAM, it means that I first, uh, I believe myself in this university, in this reality. I think it's incredible, an incredible institution. So uh, because of, uh, I mean, first of all, of the academic aspect, and then of course, because it's very international, we will have the possibility to, I mean, to create your network here with, with your colleagues in the class, with uh, the professors. And I really like the, the connection that there is between the departments, between the, the professors and the students. Uh, it's very dynamic. I, I, I get bored if something is static, you know, I'm a, I, I'm Arias as an horoscope and I cannot stay stay <laughs> quiet and UCAM is always in moving it's always uh, finding new new experiences it's always uh, innovating and uh, researching so I really like UCAM for, for it and also uh, you are in the south of Spain I mean the weather it helps a lot <laughs> this is one also of the main particular reason why I, I, I choose to, to come here even because you can combine your um, uh, academic and working life with the uh, also uh, the time to relax it's also important you know it's not like to be in the north of uh, the world with the uh, i don't know cloudy yeah. uh, cities I, murcia is also beautiful for it and we also have another question from uh, an attendee i don't know Wong, if you want to ask it oh you mean that uh, my yeah question. in the qa in qa if you want there is a, another question yes all oh, right right from the right. professors yeah uh, good day, Mr. Pata. I'm Filipino with a tourism management degree. How much uh, would it cost for me to pursue a master degree in UCAM? Are uh, there any financial assistance available to work in Spain while studying? Uh, hi, uh, Anonymous. Uh, thank you for your questions. Uh, for your questions, I would like to answer. Uh, I don't know that which kind of course are you asking, like in campus or online, but I will give you the tuition fee of the both. Like in uh, campus, the tuition fee will be 7,000 euros for master degree in hospitality management. Uh, for online course, uh, for online course, the tuition fee would be uh, 4,600 euros for non AO students. Um, that is for online. And uh, about financial assistance available, we are offer scholarship for students. So right now you can uh, apply for the scholarship uh, because that the scholarship we have just only a budget for the scholarship. So first come first serve. So better to uh, submit your documents uh, as soon as possible. And uh, ideal to work in Spain. Well, uh, you are. Uh, you, you can working as a part-time job in Spain. You are allowed to working as a part-time job in Spain. And uh, the maximum hours is uh, 20 hours per week to working uh, in Spain. Yeah. I, I, 
I also would like to underline that, uh, I mean, the first research that I suggest to our students to do is to compare our uh, tuition fee with other, the, the other tuition fees of some private university. We will see how low, uh, lower are the prices of our university. Be why? Because we are, a, 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 it's true, a private university, but actually we are no profit organization. So that's why we can, uh, uh, let's say, um, offer our programs with this uh, low tuition fee. And uh, in terms, it's uh, an investment for your life. No, you are going to, to pay an academic tuition fee, but then, of course, uh, you will uh, get back this money because you will find a, a great job in a, in, a, in a good company when you can grow and you can uh, establish, a, I mean, a, a, to find a, a good position, work, working position. So I think it's, uh, it's enough for, for the webinar. Uh, we are, uh, uh, I mean, I, we can stay here all, uh, all, all day, but I mean, um, it was a, a pleasure for, uh, for us to, to have the possibility, first of all, to, to, ask, to, to listen to the masterclass of the uh, professor Baquero and uh, Plit Stevens that uh, uh, were very interesting. So uh, actually, um, you are only a, a, a representation of uh, the UCAM professors that teach uh, here at UCAM. Uh, I, so thank you very much, Azer, and thank you very much, uh, Javier, to to be with us and to, to participate in this webinar. We know you are very busy and so uh, uh, particularly thanks to you. Also, thank you very much to my colleague Wong <laughs> uh, because um, we prepared the webinar all together with our um, multimedia department. I mean, you know, UCAM is also uh, a big family in this sense. There are many people working to, to make it possible. Yeah. And uh, also the big uh, thanks to, to the attendees, to the students. We want to, to thank them uh, a lot. I, I hope and uh, Wong hope and the professors hope to see you here at UCAM or behind the camera because you probably choose to do an online masters. And, uh, but for sure, um, I really suggest you to, to investigate a bit in our website uh, and to see the, um, the, the feedback of our testimonial. And you will see that uh, if you choose UCAM, for sure is a, a guarantee for you. It's one year master, and, but uh, many things in, uh, you know, in, the, in, the, in, in the pan. So <laughs> I really suggest you. If you have something to add, uh, I don't know, you wanna, we can close the, the webinars. Professors won't. Not for me, thank you, everything. Thank you, Azer, thank you. Good. Just to say thank you to everyone to organize this uh, fantastic webinar and I, I hope uh, many of the students just decided to come here uh, to the campus or online uh, master degrees. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And Wong, it's okay? Yes. Thank you everybody for today. We are having a good webinar today actually. Uh, so, very thank you for to professor. Like after this webinar, I know more uh, information about this uh, course, and also uh, thank you, Giovanni, for 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 your like uh, host today. You are having like many creative questions that I don't know that you will ask that kind of questions. Oh yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, I, I like to to ask. We 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 are curious as our professors, and the curiosity is one also of the main. Uh, the main characteristic of UCAM. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, we hope to see you soon here at UCAM. And uh, any question, don't be worried. Just ask the professor to our network for the administration. So whatever, uh, take into consideration the, the email of the professors, but also admissions uh, at uh, UCAM.edu. I mean, we have many contact email. You, you can um, email us what, whatever you want, okay? Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. <laughs> nice day to you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>